Repointing old brick joints is commonly left to the professionals. However, with the right tools, supplies, and some basic techniques, you can easily repoint your own brick structure. The first step is to locate and identify the problem areas. Any loose mortar will need to be removed and replaced. Along with that, you'll need to match the existing mortar as close as possible. It's best to chisel out a small piece and take it to the home center to find the best match. Colorants are available to match color if necessary. Plus, you'll need some basic tools for the job. Make sure and see the full listing of tools and supplies at the end of the video. To get started, you'll need to rake out the old joints. There are several tools that could be used for raking. The simplest solution is a hammer and chisel, especially if you don't have a lot of mortar to remove. As you chisel the joints out, take care not to get too close and damage the brick. Chisel the joints out until all the loose mortar has been removed. Another option is a joint raker. This unique tool has two wheels with a hardened nail that scrapes the mortar out as you move it across the joint. This works especially well for softer mortars or mortars that are more lime based. The fastest way to remove grout is with a raking bit. Using it with a cordless drill allows you to quickly grind the mortar joint out. This is a perfect solution if you have a lot of mortar to remove. Make sure not to get too close to the brick to avoid damage. Before you mortar, you'll need to prep the wall. Using a masonry brush, remove excess dust and debris. Then, dip the same brush in water and dampen the joints. This helps the mortar retain moisture as it dries and prevents it from becoming brittle. Now it's time to repoint. Mix the mortar and water in small batches in a flexible bucket. Add colorant to match the mortar color if necessary. Mix it until it has an oatmeal-like consistency that stands up and holds firm. Scoop out a liberal amount of mortar with a bucket scoop onto a magnesium hawk. Hold the mortar up to the edge of the repair and using a tuck pointer, begin to fill the voids with a new mortar. Press the mortar firmly into the joint until it meets the bottom and edges of the existing mortar. As you work, steer clear of the edges, corners, and face of the bricks. If mortar does get on a brick, don't sweat it. Wait for the mortar to dry, then gently scrape it away with a stiff margin trowel. Once everything is completely repointed, use a slicker to slick or flatten the joints between the brick and give it a smooth, finished look that blends in seamlessly with the rest of your wall. Another tool that you can use is a jointer. These are available in both convex and concave shapes to match different styles of pointing. The next step is to clean up excess mortar and blend the new mortar with the old. Run a wet bucket brush in horizontal sweeping motions over your finished patch job to give a seamless finish. Don't scrub too hard. The goal is to clean the brick, but not remove any of the new mortar. Over the next three to four days, give your patch a daily misting to allow the mortar to dry slowly and reduce the risk of cracking. If you notice a film developing over the patch, it may be necessary to clean the bricks with a brick and stone cleaner. Follow the manufacturer's mixing instructions and scrub the area with a long-handled acid brush. Before you pack up, don't forget to clean your tools. Some soapy water and a heavy-duty scrub brush will make quick work of the task. Check out the full line of tools available from Marshalltown for your next rejoining project.